Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, I am hot off of uh, the unofficial uh, anniversary live stream and uh, fully rested and ready to go. And I wanted to take a minute just to uh, share with you guys the strategy that I was using for the fixed party trial, um, especially because uh, none of us actually completed the fixed party trial during the event. And I wanted to go through and share uh, and show that my strategy was going to work if I had just a few more minutes to get to the end. Um, but also just to kind of talk a little bit about how this fight ended up working for me, um, kind of go through like, you know, my process of how I figured out what was going to work and what wasn't going to work and how I finally landed on that. Um, and kind of talk through what I was doing turn by turn so you can see it. Cause I know, you know, during the event, there was a lot going on and uh, people weren't really able to talk a whole lot. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and share that cause, um, I'm pretty proud of it after <laughs> working really, really hard and staying up really, really late the night before trying to make sure, um, that I got something that worked. I wanted to show it and uh, and share it with you guys. So I hope that this is uh, enjoyable for you. I know some of the other guys have been sharing their um, their clears and their their strategies for the other trial. I haven't seen anybody doing um, the, the the first one, the Scorn of the Sworn Eight, yet. So I want to go ahead and share that. And here it is. So here's some information about the fight. Um, this was a difficulty 300 fight, um, Scorn of the Sworn Eight of Palladia. And uh, just to kind of show you what we were working with here, um, here's some of the parameters we had to work with. Um, we had to have um, units having minimum HP and max, you had to have HP within a minimum and maximum range. Um, Olive couldn't have any more than 2022 um, attack, which is like really, really hamstringing Olive. Um, there were no requirements for magic. Um, and I'll talk about the other stuff in just a moment. Um, Spirit, they, there were requirements for spirit. There's a lot of magic based attacks, um, including some that can't be covered. So there were some requirements for minimum and maximum of spirit. Um, LB damage boosts, chain cap boosts, hu uh, human killer buffs that you could equip. And we were set to these certain espers uh, for these units. Now I'm going to remove those here for just a second and show you some of the other rules. Nobody could have ribbons. Um, Barrel, who's your, going to be your magic tank, had to have ice and lightning resistance. Uh, 100% and then um, a lot of other resistances as well. Mine happens to be geared with 100 of 100 or better with everything because um, I was really, <laughs> really not sure if it was going to work. So I want to make kind of go go overboard um, and I'm going to I haven't necessarily adjusted it now that I know that it does work. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you exactly what I had going on going into this. We could use the cow and DV items. Um, you have to equip certain equipment. Um, I'll show you what those are in uh, just a moment. Um, uh, actually, I don't even have those loaded here. Let me, let me load those up really quick. All right. Bear with me here. I forgot to upload those. My mistake. I'm so excited to record the video. I didn't even upload the thing. Here it is. So you had to have uh, these this gear. So you can kind of see, you know, Olive had to have Tyvis' spirit. Um, we had to have Ignis' food notes on Yuffie. Uh, Ravenheart on Demon Rain. We had to have um, nothing specific on Barrel, and we had to have the Aaron Yes Ring, um, this Relieving Song, and Stonera on Selfie, or Selfie, uh, which uh, I ended up not using really any of it, <laughs> other than uh, actually, yeah, in my clear, I didn't use any of that stuff. I, I did use Ravenheart and Ignis Food Notes, but uh, and Tyvus Spirit, of course, um, but the others I did not use uh, on, on self Selfie. So there's that. And there's that. So here were some of the challenges that uh, I ran into as I was doing this fight. Uh, the first is that the uh, there's so much RNG in this fight. Uh, the, the main one being that Olive's, uh, Olive is your main DPS and her main source of DPS because of Tyvus Spirit. Is, obviously, that's what you're doing. You're doing LB. It hits random targets and your damage may spread out the way you don't want it to. It can really draw out the fight. You can combat this early on in the first phase of the fight. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. Um, but you have a really hard time doing that in the later phases. And so it really gets very random. Um, the other bit of RNG has to do with Demon Rain. Um, uh, and my strategy, he, uh, in my experience, rather, he, he does not sit still. And so if he happens to jump in front of Barrel, it prevents Barrel from covering. And if Barrel doesn't cover on some of those turns, it's going to trigger a party wipe. Um, or at least a party, a couple of party deaths that you just can't really recover from. Um, and uh, yeah. There's that. So you, that the RNG is definitely a factor in this trial, the way this one is set up. Um, the other issues that I run into is that the cooldown of Tyvus Spirit is out of sync with how phase two of the fight works. 
Um, we'll talk more about that as we get into phase two of the fight, but it can make it take a lot longer than you want it to. The fastest I've taken care of phase two is 14 turns. Um, and that is ultimately what what led me to not being able to finish. Um, you know, in the in the the event, um, I I ended the challenge. We we hit the the end timer right as I was starting phase four of the fight. And if I had had just a couple more minutes, I think I would have been fine to finish it. Um, but because I did have a reset in the beginning, um, that probably set me back. Um, uh, and I had to reset because of RNG. And so there you go. Um, phase three and four also have a lot of extra mechanics you have to deal with, including magic that can't be covered but can be sealed, um, having to deal with status ailments, fixed damage that you can't cover. Um, there's just a lot of things that kind of go on that get in the way of you being able to do that, um, do the fight safely, and kind of predict what's going to happen. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and show you how this all works. I'm going to talk through kind of what I was doing on uh, relevant turns um, and you know um, depending on how it goes I might speed through certain parts of it that take too long but uh, you know, I'll, I'll try not to do that if I can um, also I'm, I'm hoping that we get some RNG in this just so you can see what happens and what I'm talking about why it made it so RNG dependent um, but if that does happen what I will do is um, pause the video and talk about why it was an issue and then i'm just going to restart the fight and not record me getting back up to that point again uh, rest assured i'm doing everything i can just to try and make this video not be three hours long um, but rng is rng um, and so uh if that happens i will i will pause it cut and then go back to the turn before just so you can you can see what it looks like in the flow of a typical fight um, and so i'll have to do some editing on that one because uh yeah the rng is bonkers um and i think that was the way this fight was intended so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this right back up here just so we see what we're doing as we go and i'm gonna show you my units right now i'm gonna start with demon rain the way i had him built um was for provoke and evasion of course um i've also got him uh, he doesn't have a ribbon effect but i did you know he, he is wearing the king's armor so he's got some resistances um that are 50 percent, but not 100 percent to a lot of bad stuff um it's not a full ribbon effect so it does count um, he's got magic innately, um, and he's got, a uh, got some stuff. Uh, this Runda shield gives him, gives the party some mitigation and stuff like that automatically. Blizzard Orb for counters, just to help fill Limit versus Crystals and do a little bit of damage. He's got Equip Hat so that he can wear the Dancer Celestite Helm. Um, and then he's got a 10,000 Needles for turns where we need that. Um, that's gonna help us avoid some physical damage on those turns, which is nice. Um, no Vision card. That was not allowed. So there's there's our demon rain next we've got yuffie um yuffie i tried really hard to make into a damage dealer but i struggled to do it in an effective way and honestly uh olive ended up doing better damage on her own so it's fine um but i did turn her into a bit of a support unit she's got the sword of kings to help us out with uh, phase four of the fight ignis food notes was requirement um and the jade moon pendant is just as a backup item to provide with some status immunity um, as a buff, not an innate ribbon effect, as a buff, and so that, that counts, right? You can use skills that give you immunity, but not, not a ribbon effect. Um, and so that is a, it's just a backup because Selfie does it as well, and this is just in case Selfie can't for some reason. Um, and then Spring Basket just to help her have some spirit. Um, she did have Equip Helm so that she could wear the, 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 the Magister's Crown when I was doing an LB build. Honestly, that doesn't really matter. Otherwise, I really needed her to have a lot of MP because she's basically spamming her MP restore ability constantly. And so I gave her MP restore and some spirit and some stuff like that. No vision card. Cool. Um, Selfie, I've got built with um, her own her own, um, her own own Crescent Wish here. And then the Arc Arcana to give her more access to chaining spells. Um, I needed her to do fire on uh, the second phase of the fight since we can't use Earth. Um, and otherwise, she's just got some MP and some magic and some um, HP restore and, and, and stuff like that. Ended up not using Relieving Song or Stone Rot, even though I have it equipped. Um, just tried to give her as much magic as I could, but also as much MP and MP restore as I could, because she needs it a lot. Uh, so does Olive. Um, because Tyvus' spirit is so expensive, um, and she doesn't have a ton of MP as an old 5-star base unit, um, I had to max out her MP and then have people helping to restore her MP as much as possible. Otherwise, I'm built for as much uh, as much spirit as I could squeeze into there um, and as much attack as I could. Uh, because we could only have 2022 um, attack, I was kind of limited on what items I could equip. 
Um, but I kind of balanced it out as best I could, got as close as I could without going over. Um, and here we are. So we've got, you know, the, the max amount of human killer we were allowed to bring, which is uh, 150. Um, and uh, I didn't go too far over this. You know, couldn't go too far into this because because you wouldn't get your attack too high. And we were also only allowed to have 100% LB damage boost, which really, really hamstrings her um, as your damage dealer in this fight. Um, and then this was uh, kind of my trick to how I got this to work was bringing Craftsman's Secret Book. Um, that way I could imbue her with Earth on most of the damage turns um, because Selfie has a really has the best Im, um, imperil on the party naturally is her Earth imperil, and this way we could give um, Earth imbue to um, to Olive on the on every phase of the fight except for the second one where you don't want to use Earth. Um, and so there you, there she is. Yeah, we got some MP restore um, and stuff like that. Barrel is next. I'll go ahead and go into Barrel here. Uh, like I said, I built Barrel for lots and lots of uh, resist resistances. Um, and yeah, cool stuff. Uh, we do have a source of guts just in case because there are some turns where Barrel can kind of eat it very naturally. So I want to make sure I had a source of guts. Um, and then just a lot of resistances. Honestly, just lots and lots of resistances. Um, that's all, all I could really squeeze in there. Um, I don't even have my spirit as high as it could be. HP is not as high as it could be. It makes makes barrel kind of a liability um, since we're needing to cover a lot of damage and stuff like that. Um, but that's kind of what we got. So hopefully this is fun. I hope you enjoy seeing this and learning like why I did what I did in the clear. Um, and uh, you know, rest assured, I put a lot of time into it and um, a lot of tries and attempts. And yeah, this is not easy. So we start out this fight against. Veritas of the Heavens, which is the uh, the green one, the wind one, and uh, Veritas of the Bolt, which is the yellow one. And Veritas of the Bolt is the one we want to kill first, just because it does a really nasty attack that you cannot cover or deal with other than using mitigations. Um, and so that's what we're going to do first and foremost. I always start out phase one here um, with Demon Rain dual casting. We're going to dual cast um, Shelga to put up magic mitigation for the party and Bar Thundaga to give everybody lightning resistance. Since we can't cover the attack, we want to do everything we can to mitigate it. Actually, gosh, I'm so, <laughs> I've done this fight so many times, I just messed up. It's We don't want to use Bar Thundaga. I, oh my gosh, I'm such a goober. Thankfully, I didn't do that on the night, on the, the day of it. Okay, my goodness, okay. I want to use reflect because you can reflect it. You can't cover it or mid, um, mitigate it, but you can seal and reflect it. Sorry. Forget I did that first thing. I sounded so confident, didn't I? Shelga and reflect because you can reflect it. There we go. All right. Yuffie on this turn is going to use the uh, Ignis's food notes to do meat and beat bullion, gradually restoring MP for the party. Olive is going to Soiled Blade to give herself Earth. Barrel is going to Cover, Total Eclipse. And Selfie is going to Triple, is going to use Wall. We're going to use um, Ready and Slot. And that's going to make sure that we're all like covered with a bunch of nice uh, resistances and stuff like that. Um, and then she's going to be unlocking abilities for herself gradually with Slots. Um, and Ready just kind of boosts her own stuff. So we're gonna get some physical attacks on Rain, which he's gonna evade, and then some nasty um, magic. Which we reflected, which is why we have that. So the reflect can just take care of that nasty uncoverable magic. In that case, we got lucky and he didn't do it twice. We just got an, uh, we got an arrow raw, which uh, barrel covered. Um, and uh, and then we just have avoided the, the stupidity. So here's where we're gonna get our first instance of RNG. Um, the trick to this to this phase of the fight is that if you can get Veritas of the Heavens to jump out of the way on turn three, um, then you can safely and reliably kill Veritas of the Bolt on turn four uh, with uh, Olive's Limit Burst because there's only one target. And so all the bullets hit Veritas of the Bolt and it's super, super cool. And the best way to do this is just to make sure that Veritas of the Heavens has a uh, has a buff on him, because if he has a buff on turn three, he will jump on turn three and get out of your way. Um, so the easiest way to do this, although it is very random, there's a 50% chance this will not work, but the good news is we've got two turns to do it, um, is you can reflect Demon Rain and then bounce a spell off of Demon Rain onto Veritas of the Heavens. 
That time we got it. So notice now Veritas of the Heavens has this buff, and you can you can click on him and see. Boost lightning resistance. He's going to jump on turn three and get out of the fight. Um, not permanently, he'll come back, but he's going to become totally harmless, um, and the fight's just going to be a piece of the cake, you know, piece of cake from, from this on, from that point on. Um, if you don't get it on turn three, you can do it on, uh, on do, sorry, if you don't get it on turn two on him, you can do it on turn three, and it's fine. Um, but if you can't get it on turn three, for my strategy, you have to reset the fight. Yuffie is going to, at this point, um, use Clear Tranquil to restore some MP and use Come On to give herself triple cast. But before we do, we're going to use Olive's skills so we can actually restore some MP. Um, we're going to use uh, Anti-Armor and Nitroglycerin. There we go. Barrel, you can either dodge or uh, just evade uh, or uh, guard rather, or you can just start chaining. You know, you don't you don't have to. Barrel is like really not doing a whole lot for me other than covering. Um, so you could guard or you could attack. Doesn't really matter. Um, Yuffie is going to wait to cast her stuff until Sylvia's done or Selfie's done. Gosh, who am I excited for? I'm excited for Sylvie. I keep saying Sylvie. Um, so Selfie, depending on what happened on turn one, is is going to just going to be using. Um, Extreme Quake got to imperil the boss with 110 Earth imperil, which is the best we've got. Um, and then you could also use Boost. Um, and then, uh, depending on if you need it, Travia's Light, which actually heals a fair amount of health. So we're going to go ahead and use those. We're going to pretend like we needed it on turn two. RNG, baby. And then once we're done, um, Yuffie can use Clear Tranquil to restore MP a little bit and some health. There we go. Not a ton, just a little bit. Um, all the regen kind of fills everybody back up, though. There's that magic attack, and you can see it does a lot of damage to Olive. Um, Olive and Yuffie are kind of the, the weakest ones in terms of their spirit, and so they took a lot of health off of that. That's the one we want to avoid. There we go, though. So now we're on turn three. If, if Veritas did not have a buff, we could uh, try again to put a buff on him, but because we already do... We're just going to um, we're just going to redo Shelga and um, Bar Thundaga on us this time. There we go. Yuffie has triple cast now, so we're going to triple cast Clear Tranquil. That frees up Sil um, Selfie to not have to use her Light of Trabia, maybe. Yep, we're good. And instead, we're going to use the End, which is her Limit Burst, which unlocks her really good uh, chaining skills for turn four. Olive, because we're ready to kill on turn four, is going to use Tyva's Spirit. Um, that way the Limit Burst is super powered. And Barrel, just because we don't have anything to do, we're just going to re redo the cover. Um, on this turn, Veritas of the Heavens is going to bounce out of here and um, get out of the fight. Because he's got a buff on. There we go. Woo! Look at that. And this is like this is about what I usually see um, is that Olive's health gets down real, real low because of that that uncoverable, un, unresistible, unwhatever attack, and that's why you want to get Veritas the bolt out of this fight as quick as possible. Whew, we're ready to do that though. Um, we recovered our health thanks to Barrel, who has an ability that heals the party on a magic attack. So very nice. Um, Olive is just going to be capping with the limb burst, and again, all the bullets are going to hit Veritas the bolt. We are going to chain. Um, we're going to use Selfie's Triple to chain double Quakes from Slot. And then her third attack is going to be Healing, um, just to kind of get everybody back on their feet. I would do three casts of it, except for Demon Rain only has double cast. He doesn't have triple cast. So we're just going to double cast um, Stonega, which is going to be Chaos Wave Awakened Chaining. Um, and we're going to... We're going to send Olive. We're going to wait until the blast kind of comes out of the cannon. And then we're going to send the chainers. And uh, this is going to wipe out Veritas the Bolt. So here we go. Olive goes first. Wait, 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 wait. And chain. There we go. And then her final attack, you know, her, with her spell, it healed everybody up. So we're in really good shape. Yuffie is going to go ahead and just refresh um, the meat and beat bouillon. Give everybody a nice H uh, MP restore. And Barrel, you know, Barrel could guard at this point, but whatever. I'm just going to keep Total Eclipse going. We're going to refresh it constantly. And uh, Veritas of the Heavens is going to jump on Rain. Rain doesn't care because he's evading. And now this fight, uh, this phase is, like, totally boring. Um, because the only thing that's going to happen is, like, some wind magic, which we're covering. 
um, and some physical attacks, which do not matter. Um, and this buff is going to wear off in two turns, and so as long as we don't put another buff back on him, he should not be jumping out of here anytime soon. Very, very cool. And even if he did jump out of the way, um, we're, we don't really care. So at this point, Olive is just going to start start that rotation over again. Soil Blade. There we go. Yuffie is going to uh, clear Tranquil. There we go. Um, and we're going to start our rotation again with uh, Selfie. So Wall. Um, we're going to use... Um, we can't do our cooldown, so we'll just use Boost for the stat buffs and stuff like that. And Extreme Quaker. There we go. Uh, Barrel just did cover last turn, so we'll go ahead and dodge or guard, whatever. Um, and Rain, just because we have nothing really to do this turn, is going to use 10,000 needles. Give everybody Mirage stacks. There we go. See, cover, magic, guarded, physical attacks. He's totally harmless. I could probably have taken the Blizzard Orb off in retrospect and... Um, not had those extra counters which would probably save me a little bit of time but whatever you know um turn six here we go olive is going to start prepping again for doing damage um our cooldowns are not really ready yet so we'll just go ahead and use nitro and a true shot there we go do a little bit of damage doesn't really matter um rain again is just going to do a thousand needles ten thousand needles uh, Yuffie's cooldown is not quite ready yet. We got three more turns to go. Clear Tranquil. Could probably get away with just doing it once, honestly. I just I felt so paranoid about like, am I gonna lose these people or not? You know, um, selfie. We're going to you know ready quake up boost. Barrel's gonna use total eclipse. I probably did waste a little bit of time not being efficient with my actions, but this was the strategy that seemed to work for me as best I could. So, you know, low and steady, almost won the race. All right, turn seven. We're on the, th the third turn. We can tie the spirit now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to the end. We're going to demonic surge for a human, uh, human killer buff. Um, Yuffie is going to just do uh, meat and beat bullion. Barrel's going to cover. Here we go. Tyvis, the end. Whatever. That human killer buff just helps us to make sure we do enough damage to take out the boss. The boss who now who no longer has his, uh, his buff. Very threatening boss. There we go. But that's using the mechanics of the fight to uh, take this out. All right, here's Olive. Going to use the LB. Rain again is going to just be doing some chaining of the uh, of the dual cast nature. There we go. And Selfie is, of course, the uh, chaining partner. So we're just going to use Double Quake. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to wait for Olive to shoot the bullet and then uh, and then just chain send the chainers. Wait, 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 wait. Turn eight, we're on our way. So, do you remember when I said that uh, there are certain turns where if Rain decides that he's going to cover a barrel, that it's just like the game over for the fight? This is this is one of those turns. So on this turn, because um, Veritas of the Frost is alive, two things are going to happen. Uh, one, Veritas of the Earth is going to do um, a um, a AOE physical attack, um, and uh, if rain decides to cover barrel then barrel can't cover the magic that's also going to happen and several people will die um so that's not good and especially since we cannot turn off that automatic cover chance we have to just deal with it um so there's a chance that the fight could end right here um we do our best and to try and help with that i, I adjusted the party slots around um because i remember vaguely that if you put a, a unit here instead of here then they like the how they like count where they're going to try and cover like changes a little bit i don't know if that's really helping me but it seemed to me that once i put rain here instead of here uh that he did it less i had fewer problems with it i still have problems with it but i have fewer problems um so we'll go ahead and do this we do a thousand ten thousand needles just in case the um 
and, and just in case rain covers who we want him to cover and then uh and then we're still evading so that's good barrel has to cover so we're gonna cover otherwise the fight's basically the same um yuffie starts out with uh meet and beat billion um selfie uh selfie selfie this turn um we're still gonna do wall uh where is it we're still gonna do wall um and we're gonna do um ready and slot we're not gonna be using earth this time so we're not gonna get the benefit of her imperil it's kind of rough but there we go we're gonna use yuffie's imperils instead and because we're not using earth we're not gonna use soil blade we're just gonna start with heated rounds for an attack buff and fire element for five turns and anti-armor which is a buff for five turns so depending on who rain covers uh this fight's either gonna be over and we're gonna pause or we're going to uh uh, keep on moving with this fight. Let's see what happens. Who's Rain gonna cover? He covered Yuffie, so we're fine. <laughs> we take, like, no damage. It's awesome. If he hadn't covered Yuffie, that would have been the end. We're gonna take a celebratory uh, drink after that one. Now, here's where mechanics come in. Because Veritas of the, of the Frost is alive, then two things happen. One is that Earth is now covering our uh, his ally, um, and Frost has a big mitigation buff, as well as uh, all the element resistances that go away in two turns. So we still want to burst on turn four when these go away, um, but we cannot use Earth. We're using fire. So to help us with that, Yuffie is going to double. She's going to use, come on, and then this... Um, ultimate Katon, which is fire, it's 80%. You know, it's better than nothing. Technically, right, technically, um, Olive has a bigger one, but uh, it's this one here, the nitroglycerin. It lasts, it's 100%, but it only lasts for two turns. So because of how Tyva's spirit works, we're going to have to use Tyva's spirit um, and then use LB on the next turn. We can't use this on the turn we want to. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, so instead, we will just uh, go ahead and use it now, just because I like to. It gives me re-raise for three turns, just in case I need it. Uh, it does do an LB damage boost for two turns, but we're getting that from Type of Spirit anyway. There we go. So Nitro here, uh, it is what it is. Um, and Selfie, we don't really have a whole lot we need to do. If we needed healing, we could use Trabia's Light. Um, we're going to use boost to just give everybody some stat buffs and then i'm going to use aura just to uh, help the lb gauge fill up um but there we go so here's the fire imperil we're going to be using better than nothing there we go um barrel doesn't really have anything to do um we're just going to guard nitro 2 and demon rain because the physical uh the uh the aoe physical attacks still keep coming we're going to use 10,000 needles here as well Notice both attacks hit Veritas of the Earth. Most of the damage is gone. We're all we're really pretty safe. Barrel took a little bit. We're gonna take care of that in just a second. There you go. It's taken care of. Barrel's Barrel's nice. I, I I was impressed with what Barrel could do in this fight. Yay. Okay. So we are gonna take some be taking some ice damage. Um, you know, it's one of Barrel's resistances, but we are imperiled, so we're gonna try and boost that up. Rain's going to use dual cast Shelga um, and Bar Blizzica. There we go. Uh, Yuffie, now, oops, not Grease Lightning. Um, Yuffie can, depending on what you need, we don't really need anything. We're just going to use uh, a Clear Tranquil just one time. We'll try and be a little more efficient. Uh, selfie, because on turn three, we're on, we're on the, the end to get, the, um, to get some stat buffs and some skills unlocked. Just, just to get us ready for the next rotation. There we go. Olive on turn three, Tyve is a spirit, just like before. Barrel's gonna refresh Total Eclipse. There we go. Now on turn three, watch this. Turn three, um, the cover ally and all these buffs are gonna go away on turn. Sorry, on turn four. So this is where we want to attack. All the buffs are gonna be gone. There we go. We're in great shape. Notice rain can start attacking again uh, on Veritas the Frost. 
we've timed this pretty well. All right, um, buffs are going to go away. Our imperils and stuff are going to go away in just a moment. Um, so we're in as good a shape as we're going to get. And we're not going to use earth to chain, like I said. We're going to use fire. Rain, thankfully, comes fully stacked with fire and earth magic. And because we brought... Um, because we brought the... Uh, she has dual cast naturally. And because we brought the arc arcana, uh, she has fire gut in her kit. Thank goodness for that. Uh, so we're going to be doing the same thing. Um, we are hoping for as many bullets to hit Veritas of the Frost as possible. Otherwise, it's going to make this fight go even longer. So much fun. You're going to love it, okay? Uh, but the same thing, we're going to send Olive, and then we're going to send the Chainers. Exciting times. And go. Yes! That's exactly what you want to see. That right there. Because what's going to happen now, he doesn't have mitigation right now, and he's not going to put the mitigation back up. He's also, because he doesn't have his ally, going to become much more um, harmless. He still can potentially do some damage, but we're going to be covering it and mitigating it and doing all the stuff we do. Um, but he's going to not be able to really fight back at this point. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to just do clear tranquil again. There we go. And barrel is just going to eclipse. That's exactly what you wanted to cat problems. Okay, uh, turn five, where are we? Uh, we're restarting. So we we start going again with fire again because um, we're on turn five. So we do heated rounds um, and nitro just because we can. Demon rain, 10,000 needles. And we don't really need it, but we'll do uh, meat and beat bullion. We'll do um, our slot wall boost and uh, just because we need oh, we'll go ahead and do some healing we don't really need it it's there and then uh, a barrel can just keep the cover going so all we really see is magic at this point so magic and just some random attacks and stuff like that so he's really pretty harmless um, where how are we doing here yep we're doing pretty good Demon Rain, uh, we're going to do 10,000 Needles again. Olive is not able to do Tyva Spiritual next turn, so we're just going to re redo the Anti-Armor buff. All right, so we'll do Anti-Armor and Heated Rounds just for something to do. There we go, Clear Tranquil. Um, we will do, really, we could do anything. We could do, like, Boost. Uh, we could do Healing if we need to. We could do Aura if we need to. Barrel can just guard. We're in pretty good shape. This is this might be the fastest I've ever done this. He did heal up himself. That's okay. Uh, we need to get the fire imperil on him. I think he does not have it right now. So we need fire imperil. Here we go. Um, so we'll do uh, fire imperil. There we go. I don't have to do it three times. We're going to do the killer buff. Just like last time. We're going to do Tyva's Spirit, just like last time. The end. And uh, Total Eclipse. Such a funny limit burst. There we go. So he does no notice he does have a defense and spirit buff, uh, but he, got, he we're, we're in as good a shape as we're going to get. We've got fire resistance down, um, and we are ready to go. So um, the issue is, if you don't kill Veritas of the Frost on turn four, then his buff gets reapplied, his mitigation buff, his cover and mitigation, and that just drags everything out. We got really, really lucky, um, and we are going to just hopefully... Um, do this right here on turn eight, which would be the fastest I've ever done it, um, which would be really nice for the sake of this video. All right, here we go. Nope, not Esper. Death from above. And uh, wish us luck. Here we go. Uh, uh, da -da -da. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so close. So close that we're actually gonna try and just do some damage on the next couple turns instead of worrying about um, 
doing the whole cycle. We'll, 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 we'll do our best here. That was close, but that's, you know, variance and RNG and all that stuff. He can heal himself though. That is a problem. So we hope he does not heal himself. Um, but we're going to try and just root. Mm, I can't reload. I can't fill LB, but I can do, do we still have fire. If I still have fire, we still have fire for two turns. We're going to try this. We're going to reload. And I'm going to try and uh, do true shot double time. So um, this one, the timing of it is really kind of tricky. Um, so uh, let's see here. So we'll shoot. Wait, 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 wait. And now. Yeah, that did it. This is the fastest I've ever done this. So we're, doing, we're looking great. This one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this one's kind of annoying. Uh, this is this is phase three. We're on the last last half of the fight, technically. Um, but uh, so Veritas of the Water does some status ailments that you really want to protect yourself against. This is why you could not bring a ribbon. Um, so you have to do that. And Selfie's going to help us with that. But this is also another one of those phases where the first turn here, um, they do a physical attack and Rain could jump in front of the wrong person. So we have to, you know, we have to hope against hope. But here we go. So we'll do... 10,000 needles, we'll do cover, we will do uh, wall, because we need it, boost, because boost gives resistances to stuff for four turns, and we need that really badly, um, and then because I want the skills, I'm going to use slot, again, Yuffie is just going to use meat and beat, now she could also use exercise jade if I needed it, but because we have boost, I don't need it, so we're meat and beat billion, and because we're not dealing with an earth enemy, we can go ahead and use earth again. So we're going to do soiled blade. Please do not jump in front of the wrong person, Rain. He didn't jump in front of anybody. That's even better. Even better. So we're in good shape. So far, this has been a really good uh, RNG video. This has not been my experience at all as I was prepping this. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited for this. Um, we will 10,000 needles again. Yuffie can do clear tranquil and come on. Selfie can do, we're using earth, so we can use ready, quake, and aura. There we go. Barrel can like guard. And Olive can use um, her anti armor and nitro. There, so that's why we guarded with barrel. Um, pretty risky stuff here. There's some non-elemental magic that comes in, and it's pretty painful. But as you can tell, we you know we could use a little healing, which is why Selfie has her triple, or uh, Yuffie has her triple. So there we go. Better than nothing. Um, Rain is just going to ten thousand needles again. Um, I. I, I look here, and if I need this, the good skills unlocked, which I don't because they are there, um, you could use the end to get them back. Um, because I still need some health, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to use Travia's Light and then just chain a little bit. There we go. And Olive is going to use Tyvus' Spirit. So there's a little bit of variation like in, in what you try to do, but depending on what happens in the fight. Um, I'm a little worried about Barrel. Um... I could guard, but we also have this Phoenix guard, which is going to give barrel re-raise. I'm going to go ahead and do that, just in case. There we go. Glad I did. <laughs> there is, there do be some variants in this fight. All right, but here we are. So we're on we're on turn four. So you know what that means. Olive's gonna do some damage. We can use Quake. It's gonna be rad. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, and we're we're hoping to take out somebody. I don't care who goes. Um, I would love for the uh, the water one to go, but 
if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm gonna use double quake and wall to get barrel uh, back to you know being being mitigated and protected. Um, but again, we're just doing the the same thing with olive. So this is exactly what happened um, last night, is that I lost that one right away, um, and then we're only dealing with Veritas of the Waters. Now we do need some health. Um, there we go. I'm going to use all three, and Barrel needs to cover because uh, the cover went away and his spirit buff went away, um, so we, we need to be back, back, back to doing the covers. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Vital Flow heals, Water Gun. There we go. Pretty, pretty safe. So we just start that over. Soiled Blade. Here we go. Um, we don't really need um, needles anymore. So I'm just going to use Dual Cast. I'm going to use Shelga and just to reflect. You know, give us a little bit of breathing room. Uh, we'll, do, we'll go ahead and do the, um, the Meat and Beat Bullion here. Get the MP Restore going. Um, and uh, Selfie is just going to do a little bit of healing. We're going to do boost because that went away. We need the uh, we need the status ailment again. And then Earth in Peril. Barrel's going to guard. There we go. Looking good. Um, and... I'm inclined to guard again with Barrel. Um, Rain is just going to... Um, <laughs> Rain is going to... Ooh, I think I, I, think I want to do that again. So we'll do... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just reflect myself again. That was kind of cool. Um, I don't know if it, if it did anything for us, but it felt good. <laughs> it felt really good. So uh, we'll use Nitro here. There we go. Um, selfie on turn six. Uh, we're just, you know, we'll use Wall. Um, Travia's Light. We don't really need it. You know, just feeling good. So, and then Yuffie. Uh, we cannot uh, redo our, our triple yet. So we'll just go ahead and just use Clear Tranquil one time. Or three times, you know, whatever. Um, do I want to guard or do I want to re-raise? Uh, I kind of want to re-raise at this point. Just for, like, that airbag, you know? Ended up being okay. Um, but I'll guard this turn, that's for sure. Tie of Spirit. Um, again, Demonic Surge for the killer buff. And, uh, we're getting ready, so we will use Clear Tranquil... We'll use the end. And uh, do we still have cover is the question. We have cover for no more turns. Cover just wore off. So we need to cover this turn. We are well on our way here, though. Pretty rad. Okay, okay, here we go. So, same thing, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's time for Olive to do the thing that Olive does, and we'll dual cast and chain. Da, da, da. Here we go. And this should wipe, this should like totally take care of it. We're just going to double and then um, uh, just heal just for the sake of it. So, uh, here we are. Yeah, piece of cake. So in the fixed trial section of the fight, uh, of the stream, here's where I ended. Um, we I hit this point right here, and then uh, we got kicked out because we ran out of time. So this is, this is brand new territory. Now, as I said, here's where the fight gets a little bit interesting. So we've got magic attacks coming in we've got physical attacks coming in we've got fixed attacks coming in we've got magic that we can't cover that happens on turn four 
Um, and so, or uh, every fourth turn. So we've got that to deal with. Um, the AOE physical attacks happen on uh, even turns. So we do a lot of a lot of crazy stuff happening all at once. We got a lot of math to do over. What that means is we can't chain on turn four. So we're gonna prep on turn four and then um, burst on turn five. Okay. Our goal, ideally, if it can work, <laughs> is that we kill light Veritas first rather than dark Veritas first. If we kill dark Veritas first, light gets all of uh, the health back and uh, the fight kind of starts over and gets harder. Um, so that's not good. Veritas of the Dark is gone, but Light's magic just gets absolutely bonkers. So yeah. But as ter in terms of most of us, we're starting out just the way we always did. So wall, um, we can use earth. Uh, we'll do earth next turn. So we'll do wall. Uh, we will do uh, ready and slot. There we go. We can use earth. So we're gonna start giving ourselves earth. Um, one, two, three, four, five. It goes away. It lasts for how many turns does this last? Five turns. So we're good. We can use this now. There we go. Uh, we'll do uh, meet and beat here. Yep. We'll do cover because we have to. Um, and turn one, I believe we want to use uh, Shelga and Reflect. Um, turn two is when we get the fixed, the, um, the AOE attack. So I think this is what we want to do. Yeah, we're in good shape. There we go. Ooh. This is the phase of the fight that I have the least amount of practice with. I've only done this phase twice. Um, so... All right, so even turn. Rain is going to 10,000 needles. Yuffie is going to do clear tranquil and come on. There we go. Stealthy is going to kind of like get us ready. We're going to do boost. Quake aura. There we go. Um, barrel. Um, we can do... Um, we're going to do bathed in light and paint it black. Um, for um, light and dark buffs. go now barrels looking really nice and demon rain has dark down but like the light is the bigger the bigger issue um so there we go um we can't uh we're, we're not bursting on turn four we're bursting on turn five but that doesn't really change what we're doing here there we go it just means we use type of spirit on turn four instead of turn five All right, so some finger snaps happen. So Demon Rain lost some stuff. I think it was Demon Rain that lost some stuff. I need to check. Yeah, Barrel still got Barrel buffs. Demon Rain lost some buffs, so, you know, whatever. It's not that big a deal, um, but we do have that going on. Um, we're going to go ahead and Phoenix Guard for the, the, the re-raise. We're going to go ahead and heal up. We really need to here. Um, we're going to the end. Actually, do we have wall again? Can I use wall? I cannot use wall. So we'll go ahead and use wall. Or um, we'll use the end. Um, we don't... Normally we'll be doing Tybus here. We're not going to. We're just going to use True Shot. Um, hitting Veritas of the Light just to get it done. And uh, turn three, I'm going to do Shelga and Reflect. And that was just to hopefully do a little bit of damage. Um, just to try and, like, you know, help a little bit. Because <laughs> I really want Veritas of the Light to go away on this turn, on, on turn five, rather. Ah, here we go, so turn four. Turn four. Big magic in, incoming, um, and to help us deal with that big magic that's incoming that we otherwise can't deal with, we're gonna use power to destroy Nethysite on Yuffie, um, which is going to um, nullify magic that's cast. I'm gonna use this very last, because I don't wanna accidentally mess up my uh, rotation here. 
Um, to help us out, though, we do have wall. We're going to use wall. We're going to use Trabia's light to heal because Beryl needs it. Um, and we're going to uh, do the earth in peril. There we go. We need to see what Beryl's got going on. If Beryl still has cover this turn, then we can not. We can guard. We don't have it, so we have to cover. That's okay. Beryl can cover. All right. It's also an even turn, so we have to have evasion. So we've got, we got. We need to have invasion, and we need to have the the Nethysite thing. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and use Tyva's Spirit as well to get ready for bursting on turn five. So, Tyva's Spirit. There it is. Um, here's the uh, evasion. And then whenever you do um, a sealing ability, so Nethysite or um, power, Sword of Kings or whatever, I always like to do that last. There we are. Ultima. Field. All this bad stuff happens. It's so abusive. But we got through it. By using the mechanics of the fight. Which is the key. So, um, they have a hack and magic buff and nothing else. So, because they don't have the earth resistance, uh, we're going to go ahead and apply that first. Um, we're going to go ahead and do triple. And I'm going to do earth, right? And then I'm going to do quake. And then I'm going to use wall. Now, do we still have earth here? I'm pretty sure we're still going to have earth here. Adds earth. This is our last turn of earth, so we're good. Death from above. And dual cast quake or stonega. There we go. And um, selfie is going to be applying the uh, the imperil first, and then we're going to hitting. So uh, olive's going to go ahead and go. That was not terrible. Um, it, it, honestly, killing them at the same time is better than killing one at a time. So uh, we are going to have to be dealing with some stuff with them both alive, as, as we have so far. But, you know, we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad. Um, we're going to go ahead and use... Um, how are we doing? We're, we're in good shape on health. We're going to go ahead and use Meat and Beat Bullion here. How many times can I say that in this video? And um, Barrel has cover, I believe. We've got re-raise for one more turn and covering allies. So we're going to guard... There's the fixed damage. Not too bad. Because we have the means to recover from it. Um, turn six, even number turn. So we have to 10,000 needles. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal up as much as we can. There we go. Um, and they, that, that's the issue with this phase of the fight, is they lose their breaks and, and perils and stuff all the time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we lost some stuff on rain, so we're going to use wall. Um, we're going to use boost. We're going to use um, ready. And olive, on this turn, is going to use earth again. Uh, barrel... We do not have re-raise anymore. We still have cover, so we're going to re-raise. There we go. I'm glad I re-raised, but we're okay. We're going to cover next turn. Just checking out their health a little bit. Um, they're about to eat. They're 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 hanging in there. Uh, turn seven. We're we're bursting again on turn ten. So we're gonna hold off on this um, demonic surge. We're gonna do that on turn uh, on turn nine if we can. So um, that's our that's our goal to save that for turn nine. Uh, for now, we're just going to double cast, right? And Shelga and Reflect. It seems to be helping us out, so we're going to do it. Um, we need to cover this turn, I believe. Sure do. 
This is one of those fights you just got to constantly be checking your stuff unless you've got a chart you're following that tells you when to do things. Um, you just got to constantly be checking. Um, we need um, anti-armor and nitro. We do need some health. There we go. Um, we've got wall and we got re, uh, re-dispelled so we might as well put that on for rain um, and boost again. And uh, why not Quake? Or Extreme Quake or whatever it's called. Health is full. We're, we're in good shape. So we'll go ahead and do that first. There we are. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, turn eight. It's an even turn, and it's the uh, Ultima turn, so there we go. We're going to get ready for that. Physical Evasion, Sword of Kings. Um, eight, we can go ahead and use the end. I think, unless we have wall. Do we have wall? We have wall, so we're going we're gonna to reapply wall. Uh, we're going to heal, and we're going to boost... There we go. Olive, um, not Olive. Barrel has um, re-raise. Barrel has cover. Um, so we're going to guard. <laughs> it, could, it could be nasty here. Um, we're going to go ahead and use True Shot twice. Just again, targeting Veritas the Light, trying to wipe out Veritas the Light um, before the end of the fight. So there's that. Or before it gets to be too late. I want... I want Veritas gone, Veritas of the Light. All right, we did 1% health, so you know we're 1% closer to getting this taken care of. Um, and so we'll use Needles for the, the, um, for the AoE attack and uh, Sword of Kings. Barrier Ultima, Finger Snap, Banishka, Finger Snap, Holy, Dual Slash, Holy, Dark Punishment, Banishka, Shadow Counter. <laughs> so much stuff. Shadow counter is barrel, um, so that's cool. All right, they're getting their health is evening out. Turn nine, we said we're going to use a demonic surge for the human killer buff. Uh, we're going to double up here. We're going to use clear tranquil and come on. Um, we have. We don't have our good spells, so there's a piece of me that wants to. Um, How's Rain doing? Man, there's a piece of me that wants to um, use the end, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to use slot, um, and we're going to use um, slot here. Maybe maybe it'll unlock our good stuff. That's that's going to be some RNG for us. But in in the meantime, we're uh, we'll use boost as well. So we'll use uh, wall. We'll use boost and slot. There we go. Turn nine. We're going to burst on turn ten. So tie his spirit. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, barrel, we need. We've got cover for one more turn. We don't have re raise. So, re raise it is. I would rather re raise than not have re raise, right? There we go. As long as you see the counters and stuff happening, you, uh, you know you're good to go. You're, they, nobody has died before the counters started, so you're fine. Now, this time, we are fully buffed up. We've got a uh, human killer buff on board. We've got Tyvus Spirit on board. We've got stats bust, uh, boosted. Um, and did we get lucky? Uh, we did not get lucky. We don't have our super strong selfie magic. That's okay. Uh, we're going to use Extreme Quake got twice. And then um, uh, Trabia's Light. Demon Rain is going to chain... And we are hoping to see Veritas of the Light eat it right here. If we don't, then this fight gets a lot more tricky. So we're gonna we're gonna target light so we can watch and see what's gonna happen. Um, but I'm very hopeful. Here goes nothing. We still have Earth Element. I'm paranoid. One more turn. Yes. Okay. Here we go.
didn't happen. So uh, w the fight's going to go on for just a few more turns. It's going to be okay. We just have to keep track of um, track of turns. Um, but the good news is uh, Dark died. So Dark is not going to be doing the AoE physical attacks anymore. Um, so we have to worry about that less. But we still have to worry. Um, so let's let's think about what we're going to have to recover from. Barrel does not have cover anymore. Does have re-raise. So we need cover. There we go. And Yuffie is going to um, meet and beat. Health is going to go back to full. Senzu Bean incoming. Oof. Barrel. That hurts, man. Okay, but the good news is now we have cover, right? And re-raise, so we can guard this turn. Pretty cool. And we don't have to worry about um, the physical attack, so we can just time Tybus as when we need it. Uh, which is going to be nice. So we'll do wall. We'll use Trabia's light because we need it. And ready. There we go. Yuffie can tranquil because we still need a little more healing. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just do one more tranquil. We're on the home stretch, believe it or not. Um, so we'll do soiled blade. We'll go ahead and do... Um, the uh, the old dual cast uh, Shelga and Reflect. There we go. And Barrel's gonna guard. Much less painful, see? But does it twice. <laughs> Guarding ooh, becomes very important. Okay. It's all about survival at this point, so. Um, if we can make Barrel survive, we're going to. What does Barrel need to survive at this point? Well, we collectively need cover. Barrel needs uh, re-raise. I would rather Barrel re-raise um, than us wipe. So, um, yeah, re-raise. There we go. And uh, we're going to do... I think Barrel has all the all the buffs. Yeah, all the buffs are still there. So we just we're just going to heal, honestly. We're going to heal... And in peril. And honestly, we're going to do it twice. There we go. Um, Rain can just... Um, oh, good. We'll be able to Demonic Surge soon. Um, we might not be able to time that right. We're going to try. We're going to Shelga. Reflect. Um, we don't need a lot of healing, so we'll just do one clear Tranquil. Just to keep the MP full, um, we'll use our, our buffs here. Because the good news is Olive gives herself um, re-raise. So you can use that to your advantage. One less person have to bring back the life if something goes wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot. Even it's a fourth turn. I should have, uh, I should have, uh, what's it called? Nethesided. <laughs> good thing I had re-raise. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, oops. Big mistake there. Well, we got to cover. Um, and we will uh, have to do wall if we can. Thank goodness we can. We'll use boost. And uh, we will also use healing. That worked out in our favor. Oh, man. Can you imagine? That would have ended this whole fight. Well, I, I could I could use a phoenix down on, or something like that, but like that could have ended this whole fight. However long I've been recording this video, that could have ended it right there. That would have been so annoying. Uh, how are we doing? We have Tyvus's. Um, we don't have the killer buff yet, so I almost... I'm going to delay. I'm going to delay a turn. I'm going to use Shelga. Reflect. There we go. And we're just going to shoot it. There we go. We're just going to shoot you. I know we're not doing tons of damage. I think those are unre unremovable buffs, too. Well, that's not good. That's real bad, actually. Um...
trying to think of how I want to deal with that. Because I'm going to do this. That's really not good. Demonic Surge. This could wipe it right here. Uh, Tyvus Spirit. Let's get us ready. We're going to... Wait a minute. Let's see here. We can triple. We can use Trabia's Prayer. We could use Wall. Let's do it in this order. Trabia's Prayer. Restore. And then Wall. The issue is we're not going to have cover. But um, I am going to put up Calamity Border. Um, I guess instead of... Uh, we could try and reflect one of these magics instead of... Um, I'm going to take a chance and not use the killer buff. I, I would rather this than potentially... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to work, but I would rather do this than... Yeah. I think this is going to wipe right here. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so... That's, that's how it goes. So, I mean... We're, we've been recording this for this long. We got to, I've been, I've been running this for an hour almost. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we got to the end and, and couldn't do it. So that was turn 13 where that happened. So I'm going to go ahead and pause right here and come. All right. So, uh, as I said, I was going to get myself back to, um, this part of the fight and this is my first burst turn, um, against the final phase of the boss. So we're, we're picking up on turn five. I died on turn uh, 14 last time. Uh, so we're, we're a little bit early, but I wanted to kind of lead up to that point. So up to now, nothing has changed um, about this fight other than, you know, we're on turn five instead of 13. So we're, we're doing our first burst here. Um, we're ready to go. So here we are. And we're going to be doing earth damage just like before. And where's my triple? Where's my triple? There we go. We don't have wall, so we're just going to use um, Catastrophe, Catastrophe. We got the good spells for some reason. We got Lucky. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, heal. There we go. So we're hoping for Veritas of the Light to... Uh, oh, actually, no, I forgot. We got to use Imperil. That's right. We need to Imperil. We got an Extreme Quake uh, and then Catastrophe and then heal. There we go. Okay, so we did less damage to light, not really what we wanted, um, you know, we've got uh, earth, or dark, very, very, very hurt, so uh, we're going to keep on going, um, and barrel has um, has cover, we do not have re-raise, so we need re-raise, there we go, phoenix guard, and uh, Yuffie can uh, go ahead and um, turn five, we're going to go ahead and use meat and beat bullion. Saying it again. That light of supremacy attack really hurts. He had the fixed damage on turn five, as well as the light that uh, that that big hurt on barrel. So barrel is like starting from scratch now, with uh, total clips. Actually, I don't think I can do. Can I do, do I, does he have the ability to do a re-raise and? I don't think so. I think if you, I guess I could, it's only for one turn. <laughs> I guess I could do born to die. L mode, it gives re-raise for one turn. If I can, I don't think I can double cast it though. I can't double cast it with my, my cover. And I can't do 
and then yeah we're not we're not messing with that we're not gonna mess with the rotation here we're just gonna do cover there we go we got wall there we go wall heal twice actually really just once I think we'll be okay uh, wall heal and boost there we go and uh, we do need to use needles because it's an even turn and we'll go ahead and do um, we'll go ahead and do tranquil that's all we can really do and turn six we're back to earth element with you there we go that hurt turn five hurt Turn six, not too bad though, apparently. I really like the next burst to wipe out Veritas of the Light instead of Veritas of the Dark, but you know, we might not get that lucky. Uh, we'll go ahead and do um, turn seven, dual cast, Shelga Reflect. We'll do that last. Um, here we go, we can triple. Make sure everyone's on their feet. And we'll go ahead and um, boost, ready, and heal. I don't need to heal. We'll do some damage. We'll do uh, boost, ready, and quake. Uh, we just did imbue, so we'll do nitro and anti-armor. We got cover last time, so we'll do re-raise this time. All right, see how we do on turn seven. Not too bad. Again, we're aiming for turn nine to be our prep turn. Turn eight is an even turn, so needles, and it's also a every fourth turn, so uh, we got Nethysite coming in, and we're going to go ahead and do uh, the end to get our skills unlocked. Um, we have cover and re-raise, I believe, so we're going to guard, cover and re-raise, yep. So we're going to guard, and uh, you're just going to shoot twice. Bad light, Veritas. Take some damage from the end. Barrier, ultimate finger snap, all the bad stuff happening. There we go. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, Demonic Surge. Type of Spirit. Barrel needs, I believe, cover this turn. We have, we have re-raise, we need cover. There we go. And uh, I think we can triple, yeah, we can get the triple going with Yuffie, so clear, tranquil, and come on. And then uh, just to make sure we're in good shape, we do not have wall. Okay, so we're going to just uh, triple. We're going to use slot, boost, and uh, quake. All right. Light of Supremacy hurts really bad, but... Barrel comes back, which is awesome. That's why we have the re-raise. Now, this is an even turn. So, um, this is our burst turn, but it's an even turn. So we're going to uh, take, a, take a risk, as always, here. Um, and do our chaining, because we have to. 
triple. We have Quake. And uh, we could do Wall if we have it. Do we have Wall? We don't have Wall. Bummer. Okay, so we'll just... Uh, nope, not that. My bad. We're going to Quake, Quake, and um, Heal. And Yuffie is going to... Um, well, well, well let's, let's see what happens first. Because depending on what happens, uh, Yuffie might do something different. So um, hopefully taking out Veritas of the Light here, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe take out both of them. We could get really lucky and hit Veritas twice here and three here and, and be done here. Or uh, three here and... Yeah, well, we'll see how we do. RNG, baby! That's kind of what we want to see. Um, so the... What I don't know... We still need... Hmm. Wait a minute. So this does one stack of Mirage. So I think we're going to be okay if we use double and clear Tranquil here. Um, and do I have triple? Yeah. We'll go ahead and heal. So we got clear Tranquil, clear Tranquil, and uh, Gauntlet just to do some damage, whatever. Um, the tricky thing here is... Um, I don't think that Veritas of the Dark does magic, but Barrel does not have cover. Um, I almost feel like I'm going to... I don't want to take a chance. I'd rather him cover and not need it than uh, not cover and need it. I think that was the right choice. There we go. Now, at this point, um, we may just very well be able to. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna take a chance here, and we're just gonna we're just gonna reload, and uh, and we're gonna hope for the best on Veritas. Now he does have some mitigation there, um, but we're gonna we're gonna hope that we can take this thing out here with. Um, with just all the shots landing there. I know he's got mitigation, but um, it's kind of worth a shot, in my opinion. Here we go. Um, yeah, and then Yuffie is going to give us some evasion, as before. There we go. Um, let's just see how we do with the damage. There we go. So we're fine. So uh, there you have it. Um, the strategy can work. The, the, the final phase of the fight is really tricky. There's lots of things that could go wrong. Um, and just kind of having the resources in hand to deal with it helps you to do so. So there we are. Um, you know, Olive obviously carrying <laughs> all the damage. Um, but honestly, Selfie, the way I've got her geared, um, pretty respectable, can, all things considered. Um, there you go. So... Hopefully, if you've never done this trial before and you decide, I think I'm going to take a bunch of seven-star units to this trial, um, that's uh, going to be helpful to you. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, once I got a sense of how this fight was going to work, it was a lot of fun. Um, in the early stages, I was really struggling to figure out, like, how am I going to string these units together and, and make them do something useful? Um, but I finally got a hold of it, and so I'm really, um, really glad that I did and really uh, pretty pleased with myself. Um, and very thankful to um, to Flip and all the rest for including me in the unofficial stream and the, and the Fixed Party Trial Challenge. Um, and hopefully we can do this again sometime. So, uh, yeah, be good to each other. Take care. And, uh, yeah, see you in the game.